Warning, this video contains grain bin safety training and rescue techniques performed by professionals. This footage may be disturbing for some. Caution is advised. This training was completed at a specialized training facility with highly trained supervision. Do not attempt any of what you are about to see in this video. Morning, dog. What are you doing? Huh? Are you out chasing something? Seem kind of wound up. Where's Didge? Here's what's going on this morning. I am headed over to one of our local fire departments, the department that my buddy Randy, the master pipe layer, is actually on. He has lined it up so that we can go there with the department and they are going to do some in grain bin rescue training type of stuff. I've never seen the facility, I've never talked to the people involved. Randy lined this up. We're gonna take you guys with. We're gonna learn a little bit about grain bin safety. Be sure you stick around to the end of this video to find out exactly which departments are getting some of the funds from the over $60,000 now that you all have helped us raise towards our grain bin safety campaign that we ran this fall during harvest. Also, I'm excited to say that Turtle Plastics has come on board and they are offering any fire department a $500 coupon good towards the purchase of one of their $1,000 turtle tube rescue sleeves in case they need to get inside these grain bins to help somebody out. To claim that, these fire departments can go to our website at mnmillennialfarmer.com. There he is right there. It's the master pipe layer himself. We're gonna get ready to do this. Should I come in or should I hide in my pickup? You look kind of like Bob the Builder. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm here with Dale with Outstate Data and he's got a specialized training facility here. We've got a couple of sort of mocked up grain bins. They've got actual corn in them here. I'll just let you take it, Dale. You can tell us what we're gonna do here and what we're gonna see and what they can expect to watch the guys do. All right, so today it's all about using the, the equipment, that would be the rescue devices that we manufacture and sold, uh, to, to use mock-ups based on actual training scenarios that where people have been rescued. And yep. that's gonna go on maybe six, seven different scenarios of that. The demonstration that Dale's about to show us here is just an example of how explosive grain dust can be, which is why you have to be careful with it. Now, this stuff doesn't really burn. You know, you can put a torch to it, it won't burn. Airborne in a spark of any sort. That guy looks a little pale, doesn't he? He doesn't look well. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. We're just in the center there. But you can see how he's struggling. Come on, guys. And just see how. The grain flows in the downhill. How you doing, man? I'm doing. Shifting grain, that's where you're really at. So you would put them like one in front of the other, step on it, on your knees, hands and knees. You put another one and keep moving. See how little he's moving it? Now, what I suggest is you find where the highest side is, and that's where you start. Okay. You know, and then put it right in front of him, and then start stepping it in. As you'll see in a second here, these panels, they interlock together so that you can form a, a tube or a ring around the trapped person and the idea is you can get the grain out from around them so that they can move because he's buried up to his waist here and there's no way you can pull him out of that grain uh, without injuring the person and there's no way they're going to be able to climb out on their own so uh, you'll see here as we go the extraction method that they recommend. I'll tell you another thing at some point in time and I don't just frame here. I guess my editor decided we were just going to jump to the next rescue so You'll see it. You'll see the process. I promise. Uh, the broom handle or stick or whatever, it, it, it's so easy you know, to, to rope and find somebody. You don't have to jam it in there. You just kind of eat it. Start 
Well, the thing about bumping here is it'll come straight up. One, two, three. Can you hold yourself up there? Yep. Stand back. Can you step up on that? Is that your bad leg? Nope. My right one's bad. Hey, hoist him up. I don't know if you did it backwards, you got to then get about. I'm so glad you're okay, Kyle. We were all very scared. Randy, you did well. It's a fair amount of work. It looks like it. I'll bet. Matt, realistically, Randy spends all his time in a tile plow anyway, so is there any chance of this ever happening to him? Randy? Yeah. No. No. Easy now. <laughs> you be quiet, unconscious yeah. boy. Okay, I suggest you always build, start building in the high side, which in this case is this side. The scenario being simulated here is that Randy is essentially unconscious and trapped in the grain. So they're they're learning how to handle a situation where somebody might be trapped and is no longer conscious. That way they get practice trying to get somebody out who is unable to work with them. Great. You move us over and then you eat so much for lunch. <laughs> Pull that one up. We move them some. Normally you go just a little bit more graceful. Yeah, you didn't miss one. Pull back. Yep. Three, three. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's too wide, Dad. Yeah. 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 Leave him. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Get ready on top. No. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, go. We're going to turn it. <laughs> okay, you're calling it now, Joey. All right, one, two, three, lift. So, so. Oh. His arm's got on something down here. Yep. Get, get your arm through first. Well, you gotta do that. You want me to just pull on it? Well, separate <laughs> this one before. Nope. Okay, let it down just three inches. Okay, now can you get your arm through? Still doesn't bend that way, huh? Nope. Okay, go down more. There we go. Do that. Now we go. <laughs> <laughs> one, three, one, two, three. Still slow, though. Still slow. I've been in more comfortable situations. <laughs> Step firm. Now we can Alright, that's how we're going to get more. Stand, just stand him up, guys. It's been much easier. Leave him on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you stuck? Yeah. Okay. Are, you, are your feet underneath you or out front of you or? Underneath. Underneath you? Okay. Well, we're going to put build a half moon around you. And that's always been my problem is how do you build a half moon? And you guys, you talked about it before where you turn it inverted. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll start by inverting you. Okay. Okay. But we'll need to know how far out. 
how to speed up. What they're doing here with the stick is to probe to make sure that they're not going to get into any of his limbs when they pound the panels in around him. Inverted? Yeah, again? the opposite of this end. So turn it upside down. Now I might have to move this one to give you... This is a specialized auger that they can use with plastic flighting that they run using a drill to help to empty out that circle around the person that they're rescuing. So in a situation like this, they wouldn't have to use buckets. Um, but if there's room, they'll do it just because it makes the, the, the process faster. The intention here was to simulate two guys being trapped in the grain next to each other, but it just ended up being two of our buddies wrestling on a pile of corn. This is a simulation where they're using a, a life-size dummy to simulate somebody being trapped up against the wall of a grain bin uh, with grain that could slide down on top of them at any time. So how do you rescue that person without allowing more grain to flow over on top of an unconscious person? Shifting down. Remember, in a real life bin, this would go up and keep going up and keep going up. There you go. What? I think you just figured out the other yeah, There are any more Two, three. Got that backward? Yep. One, three. One, two, three. We're unworried about seats by right now. That. We have now closed down our grain bin safety campaign where we raised in total over $50,000. 30 of that coming right from you guys, from the viewers, through the GoFundMe account, over $30,000. So thank you guys. Every penny of that is going to go towards grain bin safety training and grain bin safety equipment for the local volunteer fire departments and first responder crews. All of that money is, is going towards that greater good. That is money that came from you viewers, a lot of you farmers, not all of you, but it's gonna go towards keeping farmers safe here in, in the upper Midwest and really all throughout the country. We had over 200 different nominations. Besides the $30,000 raised from you guys, uh, Becky and I are kicking in $5,000 ourselves. Midwest Machinery, our local John Deere dealer is kicking in $5,000. J&M, uh, the, the guys that build our grain cart and our seed tender, through that patriotic farmer edition. That is money that comes from farmers. They wanted to kick into that. They also wrote a check for $5,000. Souk up grain bins. Um, a lot of our grain bins here are souk up. Our dryer is souk up. They kicked in $5,000. They take safety very, very seriously. And Egg Cam or Dakota Micro is also kicking in $20 for every uh, millennial farmer engraved edition backup camera that is sold. That's gonna be up to $2,000. We are well over $50,000. That is all going back towards equipping these, these volunteers with what they need to keep farmers safe. A lot of them farmers themselves. So thank you, thank you, thank you to you guys 